I'm Christy Hartman. I'm here today to do some gel printing with you. I'm using my 8 by 10 inch Jelly Arts Jelly Plate. I am using the paint colors from DecoArt Americana that you saw in the previous video clip. I'm using an assortment of stencils from Stencil Girl to the Crafters Workshop to Creative Arts Lifestyle and I'm printing on deli paper today. This is for a project which is going to be a Halloween based project, the papers that I'm printing. Um, I am using all different shades of turquoise to start out with. Some of the paint colors that you saw in the first video clip will not show up in this video. In the interest of time I decided that we needed to kind of cut the video short a little bit. I am simply showing you how to layer similar colors one on top of the other to develop all the layers that make a great print. You can see that I'm using this stencil, which is actually, I believe this is a Donna Downey stencil, which is no longer available, it was called Boulders. I've also used some Stencil Girl stencils in the last video clip and I'm layering with that bolder stencil again which you can find these they're easily they're readily available through other companies you just have to do some looking here I am layering another layer of turquoise on top of my previous layer and I am printing the ghost print on top of a previous layer as well I'm making actually multiple prints with this and you will see different prints that are being used. Again, brayering out additional paint using that Stencil Girl stencil, which is an amazing stencil. If you don't have it, I would recommend that you purchase it. And printing sections of it. Again, now I've got my ghost print, which I'm going to pull and I'll layer paint on top of that. This is a Creative Arts Lifestyle Buffalo Plaid print. I just like the way it adds an additional interesting layer. You can see also on the side of that I added some circles just to use up that paint that was on the side. Just showing you a variety of the different prints that I've made so far in this printing session. Adding another paint color which I believe is ocean blue using a circle stencil I believe this is a crafters workshop stencil adding just another layer to kind of develop that interest and all of the different value that you might want to see in fact I'm using three different prints here and I'm just layering one on top of the other notice how I leave those prints to kind of soak in the paint you will actually pull more paint by allowing your paint to adhere to your paper. Pulling number two and pulling number three. Now I decided that I needed some dark blue so I added ultramarine blue. And again, using that bolder stencil, which I kind of like. And I'm just going to randomly apply the dark blue. I don't want a lot of this dark blue on here, but I do want enough so that it adds some interest randomly on my prints. And notice where I kind of, if you paid attention, there wasn't anything in that section on this print so I filled in that section and one more and pulled some of the ghost prints off as well. Now I decided that I needed some white. I think frequently I will add white or black to a print and I just like little pops of white or black and I'm going to randomly apply those and I want to thank you for joining me and if you like these videos please like my YouTube channel.